Alright, in the previous couple of cyberpunk videos, I showed you what happens if you take Jackie's body to his mother, and today we'll have a look at the alternative, which is to send him over to Vic. You know, the Ripper dog from the intro. Before that, however, you may be wondering what happens if you decide to just leave the body in the car. Well, the honest truth is that I don't know. But several people have commented on my previous videos that it's basically identical to sending him over to his mother. So I'm willing to believe that for now, and if it's not true, please let me know down in the comments. But back on topic. The first thing you can do if you send his body to Victor is to go talk to him about it. And unfortunately, it seems that Arasaka got their hands on it. Have a look. You took care of Jackie's body? I... I thought you knew. Damn it. Must have been knocked out when I talked about it. W what do you mean? Arasaka. They swooped in, dug their claws into him. What? Where'd they take him? I'm not sure. Had me face down to the ground, hands on my head. Tried to learn something, but, well, you know how it is with corpos. Fucking monos. Then, potentially much later on, depending on your ending path, you get another chance to learn what Arasaka truly did to him, and it turns out that they tried digitizing whatever was left of his brain, or something like that, in order to extract whatever information they can. You can even speak to him, but it's clear that, unlike Johnny Silverhand, this is not truly Jackie. It is done. We may go. Wait a sec. Wanna talk to Jackie Wells? Who? You took his body. Arasaka did. Goro said you interrogate the dead. I think I might understand how that's possible now. I'm afraid these are two wholly different things. But let us see. Jackie Wells. Hermano! Finally! Mama told me things come to those who wait. <laughs> Some are even good. Jackie, it's really you. <laughs> Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. Remember anything about what happened? Hit the Major League's essay! Running with Dex! Badass Black Jesus of the Afterlife! A heap of Bartley gold-plated cool! Not bad, eh? Misty misses you. Loads. Oh, Misty. Listen, amigo. Uh, I got this thing. And if I borrow your wheels? Got a date with Misty, but... Take the metro. How's that gonna look for me? Hey. Never did get the chance to thank you. The biochip. Hold on to it. For me. Knew I could always count on you, Jack. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Take it easy, amigo. Afterlife! See you there! Did you get what you expected? Go fuck yourself, Hanako. And so we must move on. And in another ending, you can actually see him briefly up here. Mano. Jackie! Gonna be up to our necks in juicy contracts, brother. I can feel it. Where are we? Is it a dream? It'll be alright, V. You'll see. Our Saka do this? Hit you with Soul Killer. How's that even possible? You died. Misty knew. Misty always knows. Jackie. Amigo. You really got no idea who I am? Mano. 
Goodbye, old friend. Afterlife. See you there. And as far as I'm aware, that's all we have. If there's anything more, feel free to let me know in the comments. But so far, I definitely prefer the alternative with his mother, because it just feels more wholesome and it gives you a proper sense of closure. Although, I must admit that I actually did send him to Vic on my main walkthrough. I just didn't want his mother to see him that way. But anyway, let me know what you did and what you think of these choices and consequences. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, thank you for your support, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good.